Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to be doing a What's Wrong With It video. This is the first What's Wrong With It video. And I've been wanting to make these videos for a while, basically. I mean, you might think this is kind of rude. I'm not trying to be, but I'm pretty much going to watch ridiculous videos like on hermit crab stores and hermit crab beginners kits and say everything wrong about it. And honestly, I kind of enjoy that. <laughs> But, so, yeah, I'm trying to get a bigger tank for my hermit crabs. Right now, it's in an 8-gallon tank. I want to get a 10 or 15-gallon tank. So, feel free to um, let me know in the comments below if you think that I should be able to get a bigger tank. And, yeah, I also have, so right now, I have a 8-gallon uh, tank. It's right there. Um... I just tried to film this video a minute ago, and I forgot to unpause the video after pausing it to help my sister, who is now downstairs. But so, yeah, I was talking to the paused video, and yeah. If you don't know what that means, it means that I was, like, talking. There's a button that comes up if you're making a YouTube video. It looks like a pause button, like, on a TV or something. And... Pretty much you just press that and it will pause the video and you can do whatever you want and then press it again and then it won't, it will skip all that stuff that you didn't want. And so yeah, it skipped all the stuff I did want because I forgot to unpause it. So yeah, let's get started with this video. So I already watched this and there's like a really weird part where it has like a dogs in it and really strange music. It's really weird. And then he has, like, the smallest tank ever. It's, like, small enough. It's a half-gallon tank. They need at least five gallons. And they only have painted shells. A bit of eco-worth. I mean, that's better than gravel, but still. And then it had a little palm tree that they can't climb on. Because if they even try to climb on it, they just fall from the weight of them and their shell. So, yeah. This is, um, so the next one that's coming up, I'm probably going to show some of that. It's Hermit Crab Care and Habitat, and this is a good, um, YouTube channel. I really like it. Happy Tales. Um, so yeah, they have, they live on a farm. They have lots of cool stuff. Alpacas, llamas, peacocks, um, they have a lot of stuff, and they know a lot about the animals so i like that um i watch the videos a lot and i actually learn some stuff from them so let's actually get started in in our video Notice how what he said. He's going to be getting some new hermit crabs because his hermit crabs have died. That means they probably only live for like a month or something. He's also not very confident. And they can't live in a half-gallon tank. They live in the wild. 98% of hermit crabs are taken from the wild and forced into painted shells. I can't, I don't know if this is true or not, but I saw something about it, that they smash the shells that they're in in the wild, and then put them into some, in like a bucket with lots of painted shells, and sometimes like, when hermit crabs are, um, spooked and frightened, sometimes they'll lose their limbs, like just, they'll like fall off, like literally. And I know that because of the video I saw about that, and also because my hermit crab, his loot has uh, one antenna missing, three um, points of his feet miss, of his legs missing, and one joint missing, joint and like first leg part, all missing. So yeah. Oh, and his pincher is chipped. So we don't know if that was from that, um, molting, um, like, 
like fighting that shell, a different shell, or molting, which would mean like if the hum the stuff for the substrate was mixed with sand, sand, which I don't recommend. And also, um, yeah, it had uh, um. It had like maybe two inches of substrate and sand mixed. And it was not Eco Earth. It was not a good brand. It was probably something like Play Sand. Um, and it wasn't Eco Earth for the human, the like the substrate. And two inches, they'll smell each other when each other are molting and bury under and eat each other or kill each other. So, yeah. I have six or six and a half, I think, inches in mine. And so, yeah, let's get on with the video. Like I said, there's some really weird, like, um, dogs in this video. I don't know why. See? And really weird music. They clearly do not care too much about the hermit crabs they're getting. They wouldn't be showing dogs, if so. Sometimes people think that hermit crabs are just easy to take care of little things. Honestly, I kind of thought that at first, but I never had them in smaller than the tank that they're in right now, which is 8 gallons. So, I'm trying to get a bigger one, like I said. And also... I thought I was really hoping to be able to paint my hermit crab shells and stuff. And I thought it would be really cool. Then I found out online when doing research about them to f make sure that they'd be happy and stuff. Um, I found out I can't and I still don't. The c painted shells my hermit crabs are in right now are the ones they came in in the pet store. And one, if I'm, I'm probably going to end up showing them, well... One, because the other is underground molting right now. Well, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I won't be able to show Coconut, but I will be able to so show Starfire, who swapped shells with Coconut. That shows how intelligent they are. <laughs> um, Starfire needed a bigger shell, because hers is too small, and she's, like, crammed into it. So, it, and then Coconut... Needed a smaller shell because sometimes when they go down to molt, they'll change into much smaller shells so that the stuff doesn't get packed into them before they change into bigger shells. So, yeah. Um, they swapped shells and now coconut's down underground molting in Starfire's shell. And Starfire is now living and climbing around on the top of the tank with with coconut sh shell. So let's watch the rest of this video. If you can't see, they only have a couple weird, like colorful fake plants and all of these hermit crabs are in painted shells. I mean, right there, that's a hermit crab. Right there, that's a hermit crab. Right there, that's a hermit crab. I can't say how annoying I annoyed I get from watching these videos, honestly, like really. There's nothing more annoying than this. So yeah. Um my hermit crabs, I actually made a video of what not to do, and I actually had to um use a shell and pretend that it was painted because I didn't actually I actually didn't have a painted shell to act with. I didn't. So I had to pretend. <laughs> and so, yeah. Let's go on. First, another thing wrong about it is they have... Uh, well, look, you can see all the bright things. There, 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 um, one back there everywhere and look at the water water is the blue one they need to be changed out every day 
And then they have a weird food thing. I don't even know what that is. So I'm not making this video to, like, tell you that you're doing it all wrong. I'm making this video to try to raise awareness that hermit crabs can't be kept like that. It's torture to them. So let's get on. There we go. Look at that water. Look at that water. Hermit crabs in painted shells. They shouldn't be in painted shells. They're heavily painted. Everything's wrong about this, too. So, yeah, like I said, I love making videos like this, honestly. Because I can say just everything wrong about it, and hopefully people will watch my videos and actually take it in and think, oh, she's not just being rude. But, yeah, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to raise awareness that this is not how you can keep hermit crabs. Like, really, you cannot. It just, they can't live like that. 98% of hermit crabs were taken from the wild, and then forced into painted shells, and most end up living in a, in a, like, half-gallon tank. Like, seriously. It's horrible. Notice how he just picked that hermit crab up by the shell, nothing under him. The hermit crab's scared. You can tell by his pincher is open like that, getting ready to like pinch if he needs to, to protect himself. And that guy's just like horrible to the hermit crabs. Now look at that hermit crab, stretching out, just trying to reach the ground so that he can not be flying in the air like he's never done in his life. And then be like, seriously, it just makes me mad to see this stuff. The only reason I'm doing it is because I like saying bad stuff about it so that people can learn. And if you know the person who made this video, or you are the person who made this video... Um, then I'm not trying to be rude, but you need much bigger tanks. You need to take care of your hermit crabs better. You need to let them live for at least 14 years. The longest um, captive hermit crab that I heard of so far was, I don't want to get this wrong, but it was 20 years. And I'm guessing the hermit crab who they got wasn't... 20 years old when he died, or a bit younger, probably like a year at the most. And they were kept in a tank that was literally, like, <laughs> this big. Like, you know the cricket tanks that people always use for, like, having, like, animals like crickets? Like, if you, not to keep as pets, but, like, if you're having them for reasons of like you're feeding your pets them or anything no that's what they keep their hermit crabs in to live in imagine being crammed up in a little area like that for the rest of your life never being able to come out after getting forced away from your group and getting like forced into painted shells and having to live in something like that for the rest of your life with nothing to climb on, nothing to mold in, nothing to help them breathe, water that slowly poisons them, and like, seriously, sad. Like, seriously, he's just trying to go to the ground so that he won't be as scared and that guy just won't let him. I mean, he probably doesn't know the guy, but seriously, like, they should be able to tell. Oh, this hermit crab is reaching down for the ground. I should probably put him back. I mean, like, really. Watch this guy. It's horrible. He finally comes out and then he just gets scared from last time I saw it, I'm pretty sure. Nope, but these are the ones he's getting. These are his, yeah. So now he has these hermit crabs. Look at the shell shapes. They should be 
circle or like a very mild oval. So that's good, except for it's painted. This probably isn't. I want to see it. Oh my god, that's just horrible. He just had like a shell that looked like an air velocity when like birds fly, they have that. That's what it looked like. If anything, that, like that's the worst it can go is like that. Not like that. Like seriously. So I've had my hermit crabs for about a year and a half and I've been doing research like every day and night for the whole time almost. I love my hermit crabs. Love them. And I was kind of disappointed when Starfire swapped with Coconut because now Starfire's going to stay in another painted shell before she goes out into non-painted shells. And you may think, then why did she choose that shell? Maybe it's because she was most comfortable being into another shell that she knows a hermit crab was in and that she knows that it was safe. I don't know for exact, of course, because they can't talk. Well, did you know that they live in groups of hundreds or thousands in the wild? So if you just keep them in little things like that with one, they'll die. It's just sad, honestly. So yeah, let's get on with the video. I keep saying that. I keep rambling on like over and over and over again with everything. I'm going to try to stop it that's hard. Did you just hear him? Like that dirt stuff. He is not fit to be a hermit crab care keeper. So at least he has a bigger tank now than he had. But still, it's like that dirt stuff. It's eco-earth mulch. Like seriously, how can he not do see that? Can he like not read? Kind of small. It's a, it's a death trap for hermit crabs. Just miserable for them. And they died in that. Because of it. Okay? And then he's keeping two in that. Five gallons each hermit crab is what is recommended. Technically, I have four each. But that's because I'm trying to get a bigger one. A bigger tank and I found out that they need to be with others and I was like I need to so I'm getting a bigger tank if I can but still this is like really and he doesn't seem to mind like it's not a big deal to him so that's what I'd be wanting to get or a 15 gallon but chances are I'm not gonna be getting one for a while so, and then he had a half gallon tank and skips to a 10. 10 is good, I'm glad, but still, half gallon. He used to have a half gallon. Seriously. I think that, I don't know how big the other one is. It's a half gallon tank. It's horrible for them. It's not big. That's small. Okay? Some things are big. That is not big. I mean, I probably shouldn't be saying this because I have smaller than that, but it's only two gallons smaller. And also you might be seeing me and thinking only two gallons. So yeah, but I'm trying to get a bigger one at least. And also, that was a half gallon, and now he's to a ten. So anyways, we're going to fill up the thing with dirt, put the hermit crabs in there. It's not dirt. You can't just put hermit crabs in there like that. You have to let them see the stuff first and let them observe it. Always clean up your stuff before doing it. You can't have the stuff that you had from your other hermit crabs that died. Because it can freak them out. Da 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 da. You should know that if you're a hermit crab keeper. I mean, they don't choose to come and live with you in that tank. They don't choose how they live. They don't choose what they get to eat. 
you do. So do your research and take care of them properly, or else they're just not going to live. Oh my, do you see that? It's a blue tank, and they're putting all that stuff in there. I mean, you can put it in, but you have to wash it off first, and not the sand. And look, only painted shells. Painted shell. Painted shell. Food bowl. I mean, at least he has his food, water, and stuff. But he also has decorative painted shells. One little piece of driftwood. I mean, look how big this the driftwood is for, compared to this. And this is my TV, so don't think it's that. It's right here. And, I, I mean, seriously. That's a half a gallon. Not even a gallon. Notice he said treats. What do you think he means by treats? Probably the dried food and fresh food. That is bad. Bad, bad, bad. It's good for them. They should have it all the time. It shouldn't be a treat to get, to get nutrition that they need. I mean, I used to think it was a treat, but once I found out, now I feed them fresh fruit every day. And if I forget, and I wake up in the middle of the night or something and remember, I go downstairs, out of my room, downstairs, and go get food for them. Like, not just their pellet food, but like food food, like stuff we eat. I never feed them anything not natural. I feed them dry dry foods, but it's like simply natural brand or, and stuff. So whenever I feed it, I always look at the ingredients first. And it, it's only like, they really like mangoes. So the ingre it says ingredients, dried mangoes. There, that's it. And then ingredients, strawberries. No sugar, no nothing like that, because they can't have that. I saw someone, I saw a video a while ago that was like, um, their favorite is creamy p peanut butter. They can't have peanut butter. Like, seriously. And that's all it is, is homemade mashed up peanuts, which is not what it is, especially if it's homemade, er, if it's creamy peanut butter. That means it's been through lots of processing. Not, it's not okay. Like, really. So, at least they have enough, but then they just put the sand, a little bit of sand in. They need half sand, half mulch, or just mulch. I wouldn't re recommend just sand, but I mean, you could. So now they're just getting little bits of sand at a time. At least he's doing like um, uh, stuff like levels like that. But notice he has like a pink thing. I don't even know what that is. And he has some driftwood, so that's good. And so yeah, now he has the hermit crabs and that little thing. No food, water, salt, water. And even their fresh water has to be dechlorinated. So now he's in a weird area that like has nothing to do with the hermit crabs. Should have shown the hermit crabs. And probably the reason is actually because he doesn't want to show what they're doing like because it's probably bad. 
So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I know I didn't watch the whole thing, but yeah. Now we're gonna watch some Happy Tales, which is this is a good I'm Megan YouTube with Happy channel. Tales Pet Care, and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to so she's good at this stuff. She uh, I watch her videos a lot. She lives on a farm, and so yeah, let's watch it. Educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know, and I will feature that pet in more videos. This video is about basic hermit crab care and okay. how to create the ideal habitat like this 20 gallon habitat. What you will need is, you will need eco earth compressed fiber. This is how it comes in a brick. You will also need forest moss, however you don't need quite this much. And you will need hermit crab food to feed them as well as fish flakes worse too. You will also need pieces of wood for hiding and climbing. A coconut fiber wall for climbing. That's always really good for them. And I don't have one in right now and because... But they do have other stuff this one for them. Works as a hide. Other That's really cool. Need is shells, a bag of organic soil, a tank, a tank lid, and a humidity gauge. The first thing you want to do is take your eco earth brick and put it in a large bowl with water and fill with warm water. <laughs> now you can fill your tank with dirt. It's best to use something safe like organic soil that does not have bugs or fertilizers in it. I'm only Always. gonna put a few inches of dirt in this tank because my hermit crabs are still pretty small, but you can use more dirt for your habitat. See, hers are very small, so she can have less. And that's only of the dirt. They haven't. She said only two inches of dirt. Now she didn't say of the substrate. You can start adding your decorations and this will help hold up the fiber wall. Remember the eco earth brick? Now it has broken down in the water and this will make great soil for the hermit crabs to dig in. It's also good to, to get the bricks the because it always has the all the... And spread the coconut fiber around the tank. It's also good to have that stuff, because the bricks, because it always has the humidity after that. I normally use the chlorinated water for that, but you can pretty much do whatever with that. I normally use it, the chlorinated water for that stuff, though, because even though they're not drinking it... They still breathe in the humidity that comes out of it and burrow in it, so yeah, but who cares? Notice how big that tank is compared to her hands, and she's a grown-up, so she is old enough, like she is... Old and she's a grown up, so she's not like a kid or anything, and that's the size of it, so that's always good. Like, look at the size of that compared to her hands. You can tell she has birds because of the I'm stuff in the background. That's always good. I don't have any moss in my tank, but I want to be able to get Your some. That your crabs will fit into as they grow. Look at all of them. You Notice can your none of crabs them are painted. Crab food, as well as fish flakes, and they will also enjoy vegetable scraps as well. See, she says that too. It is beneficial to add soaking salt to your crabs' water. Most people only give their crabs water with a sponge. This is very wrong, and they need and enjoy soaking in water. So make sure you provide they also a will fish try full of water in your hermit crab habitat. They'll also try to eat the sponge pieces, and that can kill them. They need to be now able to soak in it. Done, time to put the hermit crabs in.
Notice how she's setting them down gently instead of how the other one, the other person As was. Grow, they will move into their new shells. She has they three. They come out of the shell only to molt or to clean the shell. Look for a link in the description of the video for more detailed information about hermit crabs. Crabs need 75% humidity, so it's important to spray the tank daily and use a humidity gauge to check the humidity level inside your tank. That's always very good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about pets. Thanks! I have one hide in my hermit crab tank, but they also have all the bushes and stuff for them to hide in. So that's good. Lori, Lori's Heartland is also good. I don't like it as much, but it is good and educational. So, she's also good and can educate you and stuff. And she's going to be doing a hermit crab kit set up bad cage review. So she's going to be showing a bad cage on what you shouldn't do. That's always good to show that too, along with what you should do. And I always prefer doing not one or the other, but both. And I'm just going to not show that, but I will show this. Spongebob themed aqu fish aquarium. So they're probably going to use that for a hermit crab. I want to see, though, because if they do, then that would be interesting to be able to see. doesn't seem like it's going to be coming up. Yeah, it's not coming up, but thanks for watching um, this video. Thanks for like watching it and hopefully you've taken some of this information and figure out what you're doing wrong or if you're doing everything right and see what you can do to help out and keep them healthy and happy. Thanks. Bye.